was considered a perfection challenge. So, very late in the game of Stardew Valley, uh, you actually unlock a perfection tracker. Ooh, that's really early, isn't it? Um, and there's, there's like a little statue in a cave hidden away somewhere that will track your completion of the game. And perfection is getting that to 100%. So, from the top of my head, it's ship at least one of every produce and forageable item, craft every item in the game, uh, cook every recipe in the game, you have to build the four big obelisks, you have to complete the golden clock, you have to, which is 10 million gold, which is a lot, you have to befriend everyone, uh, there's a lot that goes into it. And thank you, Neo, for the link. <laughs> Just woke up and it's 11.18am. Sometimes you need those big sleeps, Okami. Fortune Teller is neutral, that's good. Queen of Source. Stir Fry, which we already know. Beautiful. Alright, while we water our crops, let's get the rest of the um, gold smelting. Alright, we're running low on copper and quartz. But, that's five more sprinklers, which is however many crops we don't have to water again tomorrow, which is wonderful. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? You learn something new? It's a very deep game, to be fair. Dazza. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. We're probably not going to pick those up for a long time. Alright, 650. Let's see how long it takes us to water these crops. Um, a bunch of them we won't have to water again tomorrow, which is great. You picked the wrong person to trust. Yeah, that's right. I just aired your dirty laundry, quite literally, to a bunch of people on the internet. You're welcome. Displays them for the fair. Honestly, that's what I usually go for, just because it's easy points to then scamble. Did you know that the fancy purple shorts also work for the Granger's play trick? I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh, that's fair. So we might be able to, like, scam the points without even picking up the, the shorts before the fair. Just make a staircase. I like throwing in the soup year two as well. Yeah, year one, I think I'll avoid that because I want the friendship. Oh, that's true. Um, I didn't think about that. When are the two events of... Well, Moonlight Jelly is the last day. Uh, when is the Luau? We're going to need to get, like, a... I usually go for the Super Cucumber. Midsummer. Okay, at least it's not early. That's good. 11th. Ooh, okay. That's annoying. <laughs> that throws things off a little bit. And when do we get our first blueberry harvest? Considering they're all watered on day one. Gold cauliflower? Look. <laughs> cauliflower is a waste to put in there anyway. <laughs> no, I need to I need to focus on sprinklers. Sprinklers are number one priority. Because this is taking way too much time, way too much energy. Oh, and I need scarecrows down here. Hey, Bolram, welcome back. How you doing? There's a strat. Put cheese in the potluck. Uh, I don't think I'll have cheese in time. Because I don't have a barn yet. Yeah, yeah, we, we just hit summer. And we have 300, what was it, 319 blueberries, uh, about 40 melons, 
and a few of the other crops that we need um, to get stuck in here. So we uh, we finished off spring with a bang, and we didn't mess any more crops <laughs> yet. <laughs> So the plan for the next few days is, uh, we're also only five floors away from completing the mines, which is awesome. Um, we need to farm as much gold as we can for more sprinklers. But I'm noticing the fact that I'm out of energy after watering all of that. So that sucks. Daz moves like wind in this game. I take forever planning each day. It's kind of because I know what I'm going to be doing the next day at the end of that day, right? So depending on how things go today, I've already got in mind what I want to accomplish tomorrow. And then while I'm watching the crops, I kind of make a game plan in my head of where I want to go next. So like today, for example, I think I'm going to go straight to the mines. Yeah, planning is the key. Um, so I messed up pretty hard, Leash. Um, I missed out on one of the crops very early on that I shouldn't have miss missed out on. Because uh, I was so focused on making as much money as possible. That's an apricot. That's a good pickup. Uh, I will actually pick the other stuff up here. Uh, mainly for... Energy. But actually for completion as well. Yeah, I miss planting the cauliflower by the day. Like, the day that the 19th started, I realized that I should have planted a cauliflower the day before. Because I'm a big dum-dum. That's a gold apricot as well. Alright, the other things here we can eat. Let's get a little bit of energy back. Wait, did I not put the spice berry back? I did. Oh, that's a spare. Alright, let's go get some gold. What are you planning on apples? You'll need some. Um, I'm planning on getting the apple and pomegranate seeds with the first batch of blueberry cells. So once our blueberries come in and we harvest them, uh, that's when I'm going to be... You can't eat these for energy, can you? No, that's dumb, I should have picked them up. Uh, I plan on buying the the saplings with the money that I make from, uh, from the first blueberry harvest. I guess we could keep the sweet pea for um, Sandy, couldn't we? And one for completion. We do need a grape as well. As are the squigglies. I know, I've been hard missing the squigglies. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But again, I just really need to go mining. Yeah, grapes are loved by Vincent, that's true. Summer seeds. Oh! Oh, the summer seeds, and we might be able to get um, tea saplings with it. I don't hang around those kinds of people. Leash. Please, you're making me blush. Continue. <laughs> uh, I've got the first f uh, phase of speed grow, but I don't have deluxe speed grow. I've been told a melon or a gold grape can be a good alternative to cheese for potluck, but I've only ever gotten a good tier, not very good. Um, I usually use super cucumber. I think you can get a gold quality super cucumber, and that's fine for the potluck. I think another alternative is gold quality sturgeon. So people that fish for the sturgeon, um, usually if they get a spare one, will put it in the potluck. Because I don't know, it's kind of rough because sturgeons are quite rare. Um... And if you want to use one for the potluck, one for the... Hello? Ramen! If you want to use one for the potluck, one for the, the community center, and one for getting caviar, then that's three sturgeons you have to try and fish up. Ramen, thank you very much for gifting a subscription over to Leashy Poo. Leash, please do enjoy your Quagsire emotes. No ads for 30 days. Not that I'm running them anyway, because Twitch offered me $14?! Not that I'm salty. Those are hard to catch for some people. Oh, the, the super cucumber? Very true. 
Yeah, I think I think it's good that there's lots of alternatives though, isn't it? I'm annoying everyone with this now, TYSM. <laughs> you better. <laughs> I wanna... I was gonna say I wanna see it, but... I don't know if I do, if it's gonna be my stream. <laughs> Leash, you're not annoying. Come on now. Yeah, it'll happen, Bolram. It'll happen. Um, the first upgrade I feel like I'm gonna get quite soon. Uh, because we need it to marry Penny. Not Penny. Haley. We need the first house upgrade in order to, to get married. So, um, my goals for the end of summer, I think, are quite ambitious. My goals for the end of summer, one house upgrade and marry Penny. Oh, Haley, if I call her Penny, she's never going to marry me. <laughs> Goal number two is fully upgraded barn and coop and stocked with all the animals. Goal number three, apple and pomegranate trees planted. Goal number four, at least one upgraded shed full of kegs. Which is going to be the biggest challenge. No worries, Leash. Mary Blondie, I don't know, you go away. <laughs> A lot of hate for, uh, for Haley, but this time it's actually strategic. Oh, Ram, one second. Excuse me. Um, it's actually strategic in this run because Penny is one of the only people that you can dance with at the, um, the Flower Festival year one and get extra hearts with her. So we're already at five hearts with Haley, and it's only the beginning of summer. So it's strategic because we can marry her super early and get the, uh, the star drop for being married. Yeah, and the, and the cow scene was adorable, right? Did I say Penny? Look, maybe maybe I do have a thing for redheads, and that's kind of... coming out a little bit now, I suppose. Which is funny, because when I first played through this game, I had a thing for blondes, because my ex... well, at, my time, at the time, my partner was blonde. So it made sense. But she can burn in hellfire. I mean, what? That's your heart showing? My bad, I'll zip it back up. Sorry. <laughs> Does anyone have a counter up for how many times he's called a penny? <laughs> Look, it's gonna be really bad if I call a penny and we're married. Okay, that's the worst point. Before that, it's kind of like, you know... Acceptable? It's never acceptable, chat. Don't accidentally call the person that you're crushing on another name. Because you'll find it probably won't go well. You know, I'm, I'm no expert in matters of the heart. But that's probably a bad idea. Call her Sunny because she likes sunflowers. Yes, exactly. It's not that I'm forgetting her name. It's just, I think... I'm going to blame Bookworm <laughs> for mentioning Penny earlier. That's right. That's right, chat. Never my fault. There we go, chat. That's level 200 of the mines. Summer 3rd. Mines complete. And we got a lot of gold. We're going back to get some more. Oh, level 120, sorry, not 200. Yeah, I meant 120. Uh, I'm going to be kind of smart about this, though. The Skull Key. I'm gonna head back to my farm. I'm gonna put these iron, no sorry, these golds in to spelt now. And quickly take a quick stock of how much other materials I have to smelt. Because if I can get these gold smelted. Oh, yikes, okay. Oh, double yikes. Right, let's put in one fire quartz. Enough iron and the rest of the gold. Because if I can, if I can get those smelted now and turned into, uh, turned into sprinklers before the end of the day and put them down, that's a bunch of watering that I don't have to do. Why did I do that? I didn't need to do that. Yeah, again, just selling everything. 
the time being. Alright, look, Lav, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll eat the cave carrot. 200, that's the other mine. Oh, we're gonna go deeper than 200. Yeah. Squiggly. Oh. Yum. <laughs> I didn't mean eat the cave carrot. I meant I was gonna go grab this squiggly on the way to the, uh, to the mines again. Oh my god, the prehistoric vertebrae. Oh geez, we'll know. Lily, Neo, other people. OGs will know. That's hilarious. Lavender, you, you just saved me a lot of hassle. <laughs> oh, dear. That's hilarious. Oh, that's a staircase. Uh, no, I've not got tappers up at the moment. Um, I've got an area of my farm where I'm... Thank you, Lily. He found the vertebrae. I've got an area of my farm where I've got a bunch of oak trees planted. Um, and that's where I'm planning on putting a bunch of tappers. But I'm not there yet, because I don't think I've got enough trees there. I need more acorns. You see, it's, it's at this point where I blame chat. And it's for a good thing. It's, you know, thank you, Lavender for helping me get the prehistoric vertebrae, because that is ridiculous. Rip that first attempt at the museum. I remember with my grammar name, none of which sound or look alike. Oh. Very close names, I don't even bother correcting people anymore. Uh, believe it or not, I do not have a, a, a close name to my sisters. My sisters' names are very different to mine. Or are they? Oh, purple mushroom. Ooh, that's another good pickup. Dude, what is this? This day has been super lucky. I'm almost tempted to go pick up some iron quickly, but I'd rather just get more and more gold while I'm here. Got squid kid there as well. Really, ramen? Are the names even close? Like, I know what your forename is, but obviously I probably don't know what your sister's name is. Oh, that's a free golden bar! What- what was this luck? I'm calling it, chat. I'm calling it. We're gonna get the cauliflower and the red cabbage this weekend. It's gonna be great. Jenny and Amy, nothing like mine. Yeah. <laughs> My my mum keeps calling me by my, my 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 nephew's name because my nephew lives with my mum at the moment. So every now and then she calls me my nephew's name. I'm just like, no, that's not right, mother. I'm not finding a staircase, so I think I'm gonna dip. Yeah, I think I'm done mining today. Actually, I'm gonna quickly jump down into the iron levels and grab some iron. At floor seventy. Hello, Tiz! Hope you're well. Uh, I've been enjoying your comments on the Fantasy Life videos, by the way. Also, I did see your your comment on the... Um, the VOD channel about being a member there. And sadly, I can't monetize the, the VOD channel because it's too quiet. So... <laughs> Off to lunch. Catch you guys later. Thanks for streaming, Dazza. No worries, Ramen. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be here when you get back, but if I'm not, we'll see you on Saturday. And if we don't, we'll see you when we see you. Or if we do see you later, we'll see you later. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we do. Who knows? Question mark. Can't believe I got the prehistoric vertebrae. Uh, I think it's 4,000 watch hours. And 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. How's the challenge going? Um, I asked chat to rate my, uh, to rate my first spring and I got a range of two 
to 7.84. No, actually, I think, I think someone gave me an 8. <laughs> I think someone gave me an 8. It's been going decently. Uh, I'm managing to get a lot of crops down so far, which is wonderful. In fact, we've already pretty much doubled our sprinkler count since we started summer, which is also wonderful. Oh, Mrs. Will gave me a nine. Oh, no, I gave you an eight. Okay, never mind. You got my hopes up and then slashed them in a single go, Mrs. Will. Thank you. Good job. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Get to bed, get to bed, get to bed. Poof. Poof. Level six foraging, okay. That is good for the lightning rod. Level seven mining, fabulous. It's a question mark out of 10, I guess. Thank you, Mikes. Appreciate it. <laughs> but no, it's, it's going very well. It's a good, good attempt. Okay, I'm joining two year rush. Do we click for red cabbage year one or no? I didn't, but I don't care if you do. You know, it, it's personal preference. I chose not to, to go for the guaranteed one. Uh, just as like that little bit of extra spice, entertainment value. But if you want to go for a guaranteed one, go for a guaranteed one. Oh, I keep forgetting I need to, I need to build a scarecrow. Do I need to build a scarecrow? I'm gonna build a scarecrow anyway. I'm gonna build like two of them. Staza chose violence. In the end, it didn't matter if I, you know, picked the the red cabbage guaranteed or not, because I messed up with the stupid cauliflower. <laughs> Let's put one there. Ah, uh, you get... You get emotes from just watching. No, you, you do have to join, um... Like, be be a channel member, similar to, like, uh, Twitch subscriptions. And I don't think you can use them anywhere on YouTube. I think you can still only use them on that channel. Which is a little bit sucky, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think you need a thousand... A thousand subscribers, and... 4,000 watch hours in total over a year. Yeah, honestly, monetizing the VOD channel, I'm not really bothered by that. <laughs> I just thought I'd mention it. Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Talk between forest and regular. Go for forest, Lav. Go for forest, let us know how it goes. I think it will be tough because you won't have... Um, you won't have access to as much farming area. But, you've got like the renewable hardwood, maybe? Plus also the forest farm is pretty. Alright, already the amount of sprinklers that we've added have helped this so much. Like, people watching, not Dazza watching through it. Uh, I don't watch through my own vo uh, VODs. Or, well, even when I upload them to YouTube. In fact, well, I'd, I can't think of a more personal hell <laughs> than sitting through my own, like, four, five, six hour videos. Oh. Well, what's up, Spaghetti? How you doing? Oh, and these. Can't forget these. Welcome back, Leash. Okay. Let's, um, since, uh, someone mentioned it, let's go check out the, uh, the oak farm. See how that's going. Oh, I forgot. New season. I had to chop some of this back, didn't I? Oh, dear. Uh, it's actually not that bad. Got some logs in the way. 
Uh, and I don't have the tool on hand to, to get rid of it. We have another squiggly there. Let's go get the axe, get rid of that wood, and see if we've got any extra acorns we can quickly uh, plant down. Um, Leash, you'll be pleased to know that I'm I'm actually doing pretty good at the moment. Um, first of all, I lost seven pounds when I was ill. I don't know if that can really be counted, but... That's what, like, three kilograms for those metricas? Um... Yeah, no, I've I, I started I've started um, buying a, a chicken <laughs> every Sunday to roast, which has been super delicious and given me leftovers to eat throughout the week as well, which is super nice. But I'm definitely doing better than I was, that's for sure. And I've started remembering to to take my meds again. I need that in football fields, please. <laughs> How much does a football field weigh? <laughs> Oh dear. Too much. A special weed that guarantees mixed seeds that grown and hardwood spawn. A special weed that guarantees mixed speed mixed seeds. I didn't know about that. When everyone can post to YouTube? That's yeah, very true, Ika. Very true. See, I feel like if I was to be able to monetize the VOD channel. Um, people that watch that have YouTube Premium would generate so much ad revenue on that channel, it really would. Like, people that watch VODs with YouTube Premium that are monetized, they're like, basically farming money. <laughs> right, we have to head back to the mines, we need iron more than gold at this point. How many sprinklers do I need? Two there, then number 12, we need 14 sprinklers. So we do still need- oh, that's perfect timing. We do still need more gold. But actually not that much. It's mostly iron. Uh, so we've got- yeah, we only need like 11 bits of our, uh, gold. So I think I'm, I'll quickly go grab some gold. And then try and grab some more iron. See how that goes. Get YouTube premium, make Tazza rich. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> uh, DBD, it's been crazy windy over here at the moment. Some of you should make your way into the hidden forest and forage. Oh, yes, yes, the fiddlehead fern. Yes, I need to do that at some point. In fact, no, I've got no iron. Okay. Today, we should get enough iron. Ah, oh, there's no way we can get that much iron to finish out all of those those sprinklers, will we? But maybe we should focus on trying to get the woodcutting axe over to Clint. But first things first, we need just a, a smidgen of gold. Just a tickle of gold. And there's none on this floor. Let's go. Oh, come on, give me some gold. There we go, there's some gold. Ow! Right in the face. Murder. Crazy and snowing cold here. Yeah, we haven't had snow in these parts for a long time. That's a lie. We had one day of snow a few weeks ago before Christmas, and it stayed on the floor for a while. Um, it like turned into ice and slush, it was not pleasant. We haven't had enjoyable snow for a long time. Not since, I think, the Beast from the East, which was 2019. 2019? No, it was 2018. I think we had another snowstorm maybe the year after, but not entirely sure. Ready for spring and summer? That's fair. Don't blame you. Uh, maybe go by the lava katana when you got the money. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. I'm. I think I'm okay with the uh, the obsidian edge. It's gonna make skull caverns a bit of a pain until we get the galaxy sword. 
but I think our money is going to be better spent in other places than the Lava Katana, because Lava Katana is like 25k, isn't it? And we just need a little bit more gold. Fidget game. Just a smidgen. Just like one or two nodes will do. Actually, I want to go the, get those loot boxes. And there's the staircase over there. And there's a gold node down here. Splendid. Ow. Yeah, I think it's 25k, which is kind of expensive. That's not the gold we needed, but the gold we deserved. Just got the desert unlocked. Nice. Alright. Oh, there's the gold we need. Lovely. And some extra coal. Some more gold. Okay. Now we just need to farm iron. We go back up to the iron levels. We need to farm a buttload of iron. A metric buttload. Yeah, we do need the axe to iron. Yeah. And the pickaxe. Oh, and dust sprites! Oh, I didn't even think about dust sprites. There's a gold bar, that was free. <coughs> Excuse me. Full 23? Damn, Neo. That's crazy. Like, super early prismatic shard as well. Super lucky. Maybe I'll have to um, get lucky with Omni Geodes. How many gallons of iron is that? Uh, at least three football fields. And gallons. No, I, I couldn't count how many how much iron we needed. Um, I think 70? But then we need like 25 more. So we need about 100 iron ore. And we need to process it all. Agreed. Calculated. <laughs> a slime was a blessing. Yeah, getting it from a slime. What's the prereq? I, I, I think there's a prerequisite, isn't there, to being able to get a prismatic shard from a standard enemy? Is it reached the bottom of the mines? But, like, you can't just start the game and have that, was it 1 in 400? Or is it 1 in 4,000? I think it's... I don't know what the chances are. I forget. Oh, there's the, the skeletal sword. Or the bone sword. 20 to 30. Yeah, you see, at this point, it's not worth it. But it would have been great getting it now, um, like, on these floors when we were, when we were down here. That's something that, uh, like, last week, where the item was measured in giraffes. <laughs> Should it be steel? Um, Ika, I think at that point, that's just a bit nitpicky. Um, I call it silver half the time, because I just forget, so I just call it what color it is. But it's made with iron, so it can just be called the iron one. I think you could say iron, you could say steel, you could say silver. People know what you're talking about. Going off the color. Da -da -da -da. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> My daughter measures everyone in potatoes. <laughs> Wait. As in height? Weight? Likeability? How much hardwood is a giraffe? Um, at least three watermelon worths. Just potatoes. So, just no context, just compares them with X amount of potatoes. 0.05% chance to get from any monster after players reach the bottom of the mines. So that's one in... That's one in 2,000. Hey, Dr D Draxpan. Yo, I did. Clefanotes is a good buddy of mine. We even met up a few times. 
Yeah, way back when, dude. It's been years. Um, uh, I actually hit him up when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, and I was like, "Hey, can I commission some work off you again for for the for the New Horizons theme?" And he was like, "Sure, here's it for free." I was like, "Oh, you absolute legend!" Yeah, Cleffa notes. What a what a swell guy. I miss him. And yeah, I I did uh I did some of the graphics for him because he did some of the music for me. It was a fantastic uh give and take relationship. <laughs> We both basically started out on the yacht tops together. Oh, we take that copper. Mm, you're in sap. We don't need sap. We even played some games together on the channel as well. Um, I don't know if those videos still exist, but I got him into Monster Hunter, and we did a couple of bits of Monster Hunter on the Wii U, which was funny. <laughs> There's a lot of iron here, this is good. Uh, what else? Uh, when I did my coverage of Wii U Sports, I think it was, which was literally just gameplay, no commentary or anything, it was me and him that were playing together. Quags are emotes, Quags is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Appreciate the follow, thank you so much. Any more iron? Yes, there's a little bit up there. No, the, no, the VODs were never complete. It was very difficult for us to schedule time together. Um, I think he just started a new job at that time. I think I did as well. And we just couldn't play together anymore. So there was only like, maybe two videos, I think. Yo, what's up, LeChat? How you doing? Welcome. How you been? I was talking about you the other day. How far is your your cow farm now? Where you had like, I think I last saw it like 17 years. Not the cauliflower. Look, we don't talk about the cauliflower. I didn't forget the cauliflower. I just remembered it a day late. I just remembered it a day late. Uh, the challenge is going decently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Except for forgetting the cauliflower, uh, we still haven't got the red cabbage. Um, we have about three hundred ish um, crops on the f on the farm at the moment at the start of summer, which is good. Um, and we're just working on getting enough sprinklers for them all because I wasn't able to focus on on mining that much because I was pitying myself over the fact that I missed the cauliflower. So. The, the plan for summer is, once we get our first crop of bloobs in, we're going to try growing as many summer spangles as possible, becoming best buddies with Caroline and hoping that she sends us a cauliflower in the mail. We did 100 cows in 100 days, for first far as year 21, but I've been doing a lot of speedrunning lately. Yes, I remember, I remember seeing some speedrunnings. Uh, this is no good for iron. I hope you're well. Hope, hope 2023 has gotten off to a good start with you, or for you. Alright, this floor sucks. Midnight, I'm leaving. We're getting out of here. He only liked me for my cauliflower. Wait, what? <laughs> also, I've made at least two people try this challenge after just two streams, so I consider that a win. I don't think I could speedrun, because I don't like playing on the, um, on the PC version, because I'm a console scrub. So I don't think I probably will ever get into speedrunning, because I know that a lot of it is... ...is more of a PC thing, with, like, the, uh, the inputs you have to do. At least that's my understanding of it, anyway. Uh, right, we've got some cave carrots for food. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a big old console scrub. I love playing this on the Switch. You can do console? Really? Oh, I don't know if I've got the... the patience for speedrunning. 
Look, I'm just I'm just coming up with excuses now because I know I'd be bad at it. <laughs> okay, let's sell that. Uh, do I have enough materials to make any sprinklers? No, because we've got to wait for the, the iron to smell. I don't know if we've got enough time to, so I'm just going to go to bed. Set it up as switch controls. I guess you could do, to be honest. Yeah, just swip, swap, uh, swatch, switch the buttons over. But then I still feel like if you're playing on PC, then you just got to get used to the keyboard and mouse, because that's 